Good morning, cultists! <laughs> Welcome to another Crusader Kings 2 stream. This time, with a properly working mic <laughs> that I haven't muted accidentally twice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, this is a, um, our what? Third, fourth uh, CK2 stream? Thankfully, never made that mic mistake um, in the past, and hopefully we'll never make that same mistake again. But, um, yeah. We're streaming on a weekday, which is uh, kind of crazy to think about. But these are crazy times to live in, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Took me three tries to make sure that my mic was muted. Good grief. Thought I was trolling you the second time? Yes, that's exactly it. It was totally intentional. So, um, as I was saying to myself, apparently, uh, our last stream, we played as King Llewellyn II, and we made, uh, we saw some great success, only after having uh, retried this universe like three or four times, or actually that's generous. More like five or six times, I'd say. But in any case, we are done with King Llewellyn II, and we're done with High Chief Sad Mordecai, so I'm thinking maybe we'll go with Strategos Constantinos II. So this will be the first time I actually play as an Orthodox character. Besides, I mean, I've done some uh, dabbling in Orthodoxy and whatnot, but um, not very much. From what I understand and from what I've experienced so far, it seems like a pretty watered-down version of Catholicism in the game. So I don't think we'll get a lot of benefits and whatnot, but that's fine. So um, it seems with Constantinus II, we need to get a few uh, king titles and then get get our game score up to 5,000 or higher, I would assume. And then um, lots of children. At least this one will be fairly easy to accomplish, I think. The other ones might be a little tougher, but oh well. So um, I guess we'll go with the same rules that I had when I um, accidentally tried this with my mic muted. <laughs> So we'll go with the dynamic uh, major uh, epidemics, historical Mongol invasion, Aztec invasion turned off, and everything else pretty much the same as our, what's it, Crusader Queen's uh, playthrough. Mm, again, not Bronze Man Constantinos, but Bronze Man Constant. There we go. All right, let's do this. Let's see what it's like to be an actual Orthodox character for a significant length of time and we'll change our haircut yet again because that was the first thing that we did the last time I tried with the mic muted. If, we're an, if you are an independent king you can excommunicate whenever whoever. Wait, as an, as an orthodox character I can excommunicate whoever whenever? Really? How does that work? Um, so... Oh, independent king. I see. So I have to break out of the uh, rule of the Byzantines if I want to do that. I see. And we're starting in uh, 1108. Interesting. All right. Um. Well, let's definitely change our haircut. Should we go with the Aston Kutcher look? You know what? Sure. We'll um, make ourselves look a lot like uh, Kevin Malone here. With the Aston Kutcher look and the... Um, Abraham Lincoln beard. Fantastic. So let's see. Uh, what are our actual objectives? Moving up. So to get the gold tier uh, for this one, we need to get at least four kingdom titles. Wow. And thankfully, this can be done throughout the ruler's dynasty. Mm, 15,000 points. Ah. Uh, this might take a little while. Um, con once, con twice. As Constantinos have a larger family, so families you, you can. Your children must be alive and of your dynasty to count. Oh, and I can only do this during my lifetime. Uh oh, that's gonna be interesting. All right, so we're 22 years old. Currently, no children and no wife. I'd say let's go with. Groom and air, and of course we're going to be banging the uh, ever-loving hell out of all the uh, ladies around us. Alright. Let's do this. 
Do we want to maybe get ourselves a nice little marriage that will give us a an, an alliance? Here, the patriarch. Oh wait, the patriarch is my vassal. Really? Um. You mean when I'm an independent king? But I'm assuming not all. Um, I'm assuming not all uh, orthodox uh, characters. Or Orthodox kings who are independent um, will have a patriarch underneath them, right? Or do all of them get um, get a patriarch? Huh. Well, uh, in any case, let's look into getting a marriage first. Mm, I'm thinking... Wait, what succession law do we have? Hemogeniture. Ah, I see. Well, at least it's not Gavelkind, but at the same time... Mm, if we can find ourselves a genius wife, then we can start pumping out some genius children. Uh, ah, look at this! Absolutely fantastic! Oh man. Look at all these luscious genius ladies waiting for some sweet, sweet plowing. Hmm, still need to get a bit more money to be able to uh, seduce her, though. Alright, well, that's fine. We got at least uh, two genius women coming into our court. Um, oh, sorry. Let me just make sure that they are marked as special interest. Because we're going to be going around banging them non-stop. Now, in terms of an actual wife, I'd say maybe we want to limit ourselves to some of the older ladies and whatnot. Yeah, that way we can um, not worry about uh, who's going to take up the throne and all that jazz. So I'm thinking we might want to prioritize someone with high stewardship. Ah. I mean, we won't get a lot of prestige from this marriage, but... Um, hmm. Alright. Maybe. Maybe we can marry Ida here. Huh. There's still a year where she could give birth, but... I'd say that's not really a problem. Yeah. Mmm. I mean, then again. Maybe we should look at, be looking into uh, getting alliances. Huh. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Because that's probably the only way we can actually grow in terms of our power, right? Hmm. Princess of Sweden? No, because that won't really get us a non-alliance pact, or thingamajig. Princess of England, Princess of Denmark. I guess in this universe, or at least in this time period, um, marriage with England might not be the worst idea in the world either. What about you? Hmm. That's going to be problematic. I see. Okay. Ah, we could marry her. Well, we can't, because I guess she's too far away. Really? That's too far? I mean, sure. Fair enough. I guess the grocery store uh, downstairs is too far uh, far for me. <laughs> All right. Well, um. We might need to redo this uh, later on, but sure, we'll just go with the older lady and all that such. Okay, so we need to also get ourselves a court physician. You have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scout the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a Quacksalver. Right. And also, I have about 2.6 thousand troops. And at the very top is my liege with 24,000 troops. I am ranked 4th in terms of um, troop power. I see. Well, that means that maybe the people underneath me might be... I don't know. Good targets? Can I actually attack anyone for anything? Ah, uh, border dispute wars. Okay, so we're gonna have to um, fabricate some claims on on um, titles and all that such. All right, that's fine. Who do we want to target? I'd say... Oh, it's all of his stuff. Right, okay. Well, then maybe we can target this guy's stuff. It kind of looks like a really, 
Really sad mix of um, John Barenthal and uh, David Schwimmer. <laughs> I don't know, just a uh, random thought I had. All right, so our capital is in Chios. Great. Collect taxes there as well, and um, I'd say, yeah, continue scheming. Do we need to increase our technology for anything? I mean, we already have um, legalism level three, maybe magistrate level five, so that we can get imperial administration. But we need to be independent for that, right? I think. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fine. Do we want to proselytize? Mm, no. I guess we should maybe ingratiate ourselves with the uh, Pope here. Or the, sorry, Ecumenical Patriarch, my bad. Sure. Let's do that then. Okay, um, let's see. So we want to bang out some children first and foremost. And then we also need to get our game score and uh, king titles uh, forged and all that such. This is going to be interesting. The Knights Templar. Well, we're not Christian, or we're not uh, Catholic, so I guess it doesn't really matter to us. Unless it is going to matter to us, which I don't think. Bektashi Order? Wow. Right off the bat. Had my eye on a, a feisty young scullery maid with huge... Traxalan for some time now. Though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy and greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful. Let's definitely make her my mistress. I'm sure that will not anger my wife in the slightest. Alright, miss. Let's bang out some children, you and I. Welcome to our court. Let's get you converted, and then I will seduce your butthole. Specifically, your butthole. And only your butthole. Uh, I think we kind of want to go for the money. Yeah, that way I can bribe her, and then maybe bring her to our court. I'm hoping that it's not too late though, because she might already be getting like an invitation from someone or some such nonsense. Right, so this lady's also come to our court, and she is Myophysite. Wait, there's nothing saying that I need to stick with being Orthodox, right? No, I don't think so. Hmm. And we also don't need to be independent. Though, I think we might... I don't know if the game sword is actually affected by that. Um, I've never really paid attention to uh, what gives me better uh, game score or not. In any case, your mysticos, mere Euphemios, uh, reports that a heretical sorcerer has been caught and jailed in the city of Pergamon. This sorcerer has apparently healed Darius' ailments and aff afflicting the other prisoners. Although he is scheduled for execution that noon, um, you could pardon him and bring him into your employ. That's great. Before I do that though, I want to see if there's any other renowned physicians out there who would be willing to come to our court and bend and spread. What? Why am I being introduced to a man who's already died? Who has died this day as a matter of fact. Are you trolling me? Unbelievable. Alright Marcos, I guess we'll go with you then. Mmm, it's gonna lower my prestige and piety. Maybe we come back to this later. I'm sure we won't die immediately, right? Knock on wood? Hmm... Autocephalus Patriarchs under Kings. And that's for... Oh, okay, I see. I see, interesting. So all of the Orthodox um, Kings and Emperors and whatnot have um, like Popes underneath them. Wow. Okay, so maybe that is a pretty uh, powerful um, part of um, orthodoxy. So all of these guys, uh, is there like a limit to the number of um, orthodox popes or are there just like a shit ton all over the place? I'd say let's wait. Yeah, I'm sure we won't die immediately, knock on wood. Right, so this lady has accepted my money. Let's she see if she'll accept my invitation to my court. And... What? Why is your name not capitalized? What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen a character... A pre-generated character... With an uncapitalized first name. What the fuck? <laughs> so weird. Alright, Ingletrude. 
Um, she's converted to the Orthodox faith. Fantastic. I sent Engeltrude a beautiful necklace and had our room covered with wildflowers. The gambit seems to have paid off, uh, for I found a magnificent new saddle with her embossed seal in these stables today. How exactly did she get this embossed uh, saddle? Or this magnif magnificent new saddle? Um, did she steal it or something? Ah, welcome to our court. I'm glad that no one else uh, picked you up on the way. Fantastic. So we have three genius ladies ready and very willing for the plowing. Jihad for Jerusalem. Uh, not really a concern of ours. Unless we should make it a concern of ours. Wait. Oh, right. I'm the Stratego, so I guess I'm the um, marshal of my uh, liege. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, there's nothing else that I can really do right now. Oh, it can only look for a court physician every three years. I thought it was every uh, year. Oops. So I guess we'll be without a doctor for a year then. Can I not be leading troops? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna opt out of that, King. I'd rather not fight your battles for you. I'm attending a festive, uh, festing outing with Ingletrude, and I can't talk. Unfortunately, half the court is also here, and I'm having trouble getting any time alone with my amorous quarry. Leave her a note. She's young. Mm, let's confess my love. And that didn't quite work. Unfortunate. That's fine, though. Um, Come on. Didn't have to wait long for Ingletrude to show up by the nearby stream. We've spent hours chatting and laughing, and I do believe she's falling for me. I lean in to whisper in her ear. Uh, let's try confessing my love again. And it worked. Ingletrude and I spent a, a long time making love in the water and on the warm cliffs above. When we returned to the... So wait. We were banging in the water, uh, in, in the water, and then we went up a, to the cliffs. Well, were we still attached when we were moving up to the cliffs, or do we, you know, disassemble and then uh, start banging again in the uh, cliffs? Interesting. When we returned to the main party in the evening, grinning and squeaky clean, we found they'd been looking for us. Attendants came rushing, and more than a few eyebrows were raised in suspicion. We were just bathing each other, alright? Nothing wrong with that. This is the medieval times. People need to uh, bathe as much as they can. Alright, so let's seduce Berianush? Berjanus? Be I don't know. This lady, who's Armenian. Uh, a famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. I guess we... I don't really want to spend the money for it. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Okay, we actually have a um, plot now for this place. Uh, he has a non-aggression pact with the Basilisk, but is not actually uh, allied with him, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, if I do this, he's going to be slightly broke for a little bit, and he does have another county at his disposal. Mm, but he might be the only target that's kind of... There's also this guy. So what we could do is, now that this has been triggered, we can actually just move our, um, sp or my uh, chancellor up here and then just uh, finagle this uh, territory from this guy instead. Or do we want to go from him? Hmm, let's see. Which is a better county? This one is actually a better county. Okay, so I'm going to move my chancellor. Shoot, I can't do it. Dang, Nabbit. Uh... July... Th really? Oh, man. If only it had been, like, one day later, we could have actually moved it to here instead. Ah, crap all over it. All right, fine. Let's just go for that instead. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Mm. I think we'll go with Confessing My Love, because she is younger. Fantastic. And back to, or rather, now we uh, seduce Shogofa. Sure, why not? Fantastic. Ladies, you better get pregnant soon. Otherwise, we're going to have issues for sure. And also, I made sure to attend the this minor event in Hios so I could uh, seduce Shogofa. We've been dancing and conversing all night, and she's clearly responding to my advances. That's great. Fantastic, and we are no longer broke. 
so we can definitely attack this guy with his 2,000-ish troops. Um, let me just make sure that all of this is set up properly. I guess... No, meet up here, because you don't want to have to uh, cross over to the um, straight in case he uh, gets there before I do, if that makes any sense. Successor nomination? Wait. This is... Oh, this isn't for me. This is... Oh, I see. <gasps> Can I nominate myself? Whoa. Interesting. Never actually had a vote uh, in any of this myself. Interesting. All right, well, in any case... Um... Should we attack him now? I guess we might as well, right? Yeah, we won't have a lot of money, though. Maybe we should wait a little bit. Okay, yeah, we'll wait a little bit, because otherwise the um, morale and uh, replenishment rate for your army tanks, if you're, uh, you know... What? Oh, I see. Oh, no. My lover has herpes. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, we'd have a quick daughter now. And we will, of course, denounce this child because we want this sweet, sweet wincest. A young artist is working on what a, what is clearly a divinely inspired icon depicting St. George. We need sponsorship to finish it so that we can place it in our own chapel. What? Veneration of a dragon slayer is never bad. Wow, okay. Sure, let's go for it. And be broke yet again. Fantastic. Because who doesn't want to be, a, be broke, right? Okay, um... Ah, I was actually just about to, uh... Whoa! The community of St. Basil, or Basil, or whatever. Uh, Vow Celibacy, Holy Ascetic, Convert County. Mmm... Um, clergy Vassal Tax, Temple Build Cost Modifier. Interesting. Or do we maybe want to go with something a little bit more eclectic? Hmm, this just kind of sounds like the um, Order of Saint, uh, not Benedict, but the Dominican um, Order or something, or whatever. Uh, the society that the, uh, the Catholics have. Not the uh, one that gives you diligence and all that shit. Hmm, doesn't sound super interesting though, not gonna lie. I mean, the reason why I like joining the... Um, Benedictine order is for the uh, diligence stuff, but hmm Do we want to join the Hermetic Society instead? I mean we can't because we don't have the learning for it Yeah, not even close. So maybe the assassins? That could be cool Or do we want to maybe join uh, Lucifer's own? Um, Probably not Lucifer's own Go for the Hermetics Yeah, I guess the Hermetics would be the safest and the uh, smartest choice just need to get our learning up to, um, 10 somehow. Alright, well, you know what? That's fine. I have even uh, plenty of drinks, or dinner and plenty of drinks with Stratigos Jonas II of Carvuna tonight. It's lovely, yet what I'm most charmed by is Jonas himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas? Questioning the salvation of God. Hmm, this man with a strong jaw and a small mouth wants to convert me to, um, Satanism. I could, but I'm gonna say no for now. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll you know, keep it an option, for sure, but, um, young Michael, whose name is not capitalized, has finished his education in the ways of intrigue. I notice with pride that he's met, attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Interesting. Uh, re-Byzantine succession is the Succession, the Emperor's family, the Marshal, and all the commanders are all eligible to become Emperor. And almost all of the vassals get a vote. I really hate this election system. Even when I play Orthodox or Hellenic, I try to escape the Empire as soon as possible. So I think the first time I actually played as an Orthodox character, um, I got voted to become the, uh, the Basilisk. Like, almost right off the bat. I do remember that. Um, just wasn't re didn't realize that the players could get a yeah, vote themselves. Just thought it was like a um, naturally, what's it, AI kind of thing, but oh well. Mmm, sure. So, who knows? 
maybe we could actually get ourselves elected to the um, seat of uh, Emperor. Because that would definitely cut down uh, the... Um, well, I mean, it would certainly help with our prestige and uh, monetary gain. Huh. And then maybe we can make our... Make things a little bit easier for our children in the future and all that such. Hmm. Also, how do we check the game score now? Okay. That's how we do it. Unless, that's not how we do it. Is there a way to check the game score? Oh, there we go. That's it. Prestige and pie to each successive character you have played is added to the score. Oh, okay. I see how that works. Crusade for Egypt. Okay, um, don't really care. Good luck to you, Christ or Catholics. Keep saying that they're uh, Christians, but we're also Christians. Lately, I've become afraid uh, that someone might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring a, no, two food tasters and maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea. Now, do we want to increase our intrigue or diplomacy? Uh, I'd say let's go for more intrigue. Sure, because, you know, um, paranoid reduces our diplomacy by one, but trusting reduces our, wait, it increases our uh, diplomacy by one, whereas um, paranoid increases our intrigue by two. So, yeah, sure, fair trade, I guess. Well, uh, I guess now that we are a little strong, or more financially secure, let's go ahead and uh, start this fight. Hope that the Basilisk doesn't immediately call for um, Realm Peace and all that shit. Alright, great. So I guess we're sucking up to the Pope. Or the, you know, Byzantine or the um, Orthodox Pope or whatever. Sure. Ah, they're getting on their boats to attack us head on. I see. Well, this can be very interesting. I'm actually not going to make a move on this lady because I don't want her to become my lover. No, it's a little strange, but, um, yeah, if we make her my lover, that'll actually reduce her fertility with me. Let's go back to Ingletrude. I didn't realize that we had actually done, um, completed uh, seducing that lady. Our fertility is 125%, which is pretty fantastic. And they arrive when? February 12th. So, February 11th, we want to start um, marching way, our way across. Or sooner, rather, it turns out. Huh. Castle of Beit Dejan. What? The Knights Templar have established a new holding in the county of Jaffa. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's for the not crusade thing or something else. I don't know. Ingletrude, let's get it on. Damn right, Ingletrude. Right, back to Berjanus. Thank you. Now, we did take a straight crossing penalty, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm hoping their lowered morale upon landing will... And I think I may have forgotten to assign um, commanders here. Oops. My bad. Yep, that was a loss. Very unfortunate loss, as it turns out. Shoot. Oh no, I did have commanders. What am I talking about? Just got a little unlucky there. That's fine. It's not fine, as it turns out. Shoot. Dang, nabbit. Okay. New ecumenical patriarch. Which, of course, negates the whole sucking up that we did last time. Hmm... All right, let's see what we can do to uh, remedy the situation. Huh. Can we hire mercenaries? Not really. Shoot. Um. All right, this is going to be very questionable for sure. Because if we attack them there, not only is this... Wait, is this hilly? Hilly? 